back. What's up, everybody? Benja, well done. Coming at you live on this very beautiful Sunday, September the 10th at 9.19 in the morning. How are you doing? I have got to start recording on less bumpy roads. It's getting cray-cray here, bro. Um, so, tornadoes. You know, it has not uh, rained in Texas for quite a while. And the other day, it started raining so hard and my house started shaking because of the wind. I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, what if there's a tornado? What am I going to do? And the answer is, watch myself maybe get lifted off of the ground and ripped from the earth. How crazy does that sound? Tornadoes, in my opinion, are the craziest um, uh, weather phenomenon. And the interesting uh, thing about tornadoes is, do you, know, do you know how they're caused? When cold air and hot air meet. That's it. You know? Uh, everybody likes a little fire and ice, you know what I mean? Maybe like uh, that delicious snack where you have like ice cream and like some warm, uh, some warm uh, pie on top of it, man, get out of here, you crazy, it's delicious. But uh, yeah, seriously, I was just thinking about uh, tornadoes the other day, uh, like actually throughout the night, and I'm thinking to myself, how crazy are tornadoes just in general? Like, imagine you having like a really good friend, Bob, sorry Bob, if you're listening to this, um, and uh, someone's like, hey, if you're like, hey, have you seen Bob in a while? And you're like, no, well, what happened to him? The sky took them. That sounds like some crazy shit, bro. The sky took him? Could you imagine what it would be like to be in a tornado? You're just like walking along, doing your regular daily routine, you're stretching, you're going on a hike or a walk or whatever, and all of a sudden it gets dark and it looks like a finger just comes out the sky and starts spinning around the entire world. And then, like, just, just psychologically, even think about being lifted off the ground, being like, hold on, I'm not going fast enough to give a good in demonstration, but imagine just getting, being off the ground and spinning around like 150 miles an hour, like, ah! that has got to be the craziest, or you could just be chill and be like, this is amazing. What if you're like really calm and I'm just saying, but know that you're like, hundreds of feet off the ground spinning over a hundred miles an hour like ah, what the heck is going or whatever you get what i'm saying again or calm um it's just it's a crazy thing to even think of you can be the biggest badass gangster army soldier uh green beret and then just <laughs> what happened to uh, sergeant henley the sky took him I'm just saying, guys. It sounds crazy, but it's a real thing, and that's how crazy it is. I just, I don't even really know how you can begin to describe it, aside from being crazy. So, anyway, that's my rant. That's my tangent. I hope nobody that's listening to this gets uh, ripped from the ground. <laughs> you know they even have tornadoes in the water? Like on, like on the water. Can you imagine you're out like boating and you're like, ah, this is the most beautiful day ever. And you're like nowhere near land. And all of a sudden you and your whole boat <laughs> just get picked up from the ocean and then spun and like, oh man, like just compiled circumstances. It makes me want to watch like a tornado film but knowing that it's reality based, I'm really not interested at all. Which is weird because I watch stuff about people like getting attacked all the time. That's every action film, right? I don't want to be attacked. No, I don't. But there's literally nothing you can do uh, from a tornado. And they just like, here I come. <laughs> oh man, tornadoes are crazy. All right, guys, you have the best day. I'm binge well done. Check me out. Peace.